to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Pat Keelan, and Pat is CEO of Communify. Welcome, Pat. Oh, good afternoon. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad you're here because I know you have a big story. I have been always over the years so impressed with the sheer number of programs you have and the, the excellent quality with which you deliver them. I, I continue to be amazed. So please bring us up to date. Tell us what's going on at Communify. Oh, well, first of all, I, I'll just give you a brief overview okay. of Communify and our mission and what we do. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with us, okay. we are a 501c3 nonprofit. We've been serving the Santa Barbara community for 55 years now. 55 years. A very long time. We're so uh, pleased and honored to, to be able to do that. Our mission here in Santa Barbara County is to provide education and coordinated services to our most vulnerable residents. Uh, as well as uh, ensure that they're economically stable and we're taking care of their well-being and they're thriving. That's really our goal uh, in serving uh, those that we work with here in Santa Barbara County. So we work That's providing great. a broad array of services, 16 different programs and services uh, throughout wow. the county, uh, starting uh, at birth right mm -hmm. through to seniors. And so we provide early Head Start and Head Start programming uh, in 23 different sites around the, the county. Uh, we provide mentoring and tutoring and family supports to teens and their families. We provide uh, all kinds of supportive services to seniors, including senior home repair programs, mm -hmm. weatherization. Uh, we provide energy assistance and water assistance. And finally, we're providing, a, we've got a brand new department I'm so pleased to, uh, to share with you. We've created a new behavioral health services department mm -hmm. to address the mental health needs of our community, particularly as we come out of the pandemic. There are so many people who have really suffered through the pandemic and we will want to support them. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I do. it's so broad. You have so many things. And, and at the same time, like I say, I've always been so impressed with how well you do them all. Thank you. So tell me more. What do you mean when you say, what, what did you say? Water program, energy program. Tell me what, what those mean. Uh, so we provide safety net services for our community. And uh, when we talk about energy assistance and weatherization services, what we're talking about is actually providing and helping to pay bills, mm. energy bills for oh. uh, families who may be struggling and including seniors. Uh, so for those families who might be facing a disconnection or mm. are getting behind on their uh, bill, we can assist them so that they can think about keeping a roof over their heads and food on the table yeah. and being able to, to get transportation to and from work. Wow, so, so like their electric bill, water bill, um, gas bill, those kinds of things? Well, uh, electric, uh, energy bills, uh -huh. as well as a new program that uh, we just started about a month ago, and it's water assistance. So for those uh, residents who are living in, uh, in Lompoc and in Santa Maria and in Goleta, they can receive assistance with their water bills. Again, particularly those who have fallen behind uh, mm. coming out of the pandemic mm -hmm. and, their, yes, and, yes. and need help paying their bills so that they don't get a shut off notice or their water isn't shut off. So, um, you know, we encourage those who are in need of assistance with their energy bills or their water bills to call the 211 Santa Barbara Helpline. Okay, 211. That's 211. It is the magic number. Uh, any resident can call 211 in Santa Barbara County and request assistance with getting an application and actually completing that application with a 211 call representative. So, you know, even if somebody has a neighbor or a family member or a friend that they know or suspect might need this kind of help or falling behind in their payment or something, they 
they should tell them to call 211 and get on the list. Absolutely, absolutely. It serves those individuals who are most vulnerable and who are income eligible. So there, is, there are some income uh, guidelines, that, but most of those who are struggling with paying those bills will fall within those, energy, those uh, income guidelines. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Great. All right, so you serve seniors. Mm -hmm. So, so give, give me some examples of, I mean, in addition to the program you just said, I'm sure some seniors would qualify for that. But what other kinds of things do you provide for seniors? Well, uh, we are very focused on uh, safety and the independence of our senior population. Uh -huh. And so for those seniors who are 60 years of age and older, they qualify for a, a slip and fall prevention oh. program. So we can go in and we can install um, grab bars in the bathroom or wow. handrails in the hallways for those who might be struggling with mobility. Um, we can replace light bulbs uh, for seniors with more energy efficient light bulbs to keep their energy bill down. That's, well, that's really important. Uh, we also help them install the carbon monoxide mm. detectors and the smoke alarms, again with that emphasis on safety. Um, we've actually gone in and, and in some cases um, put in ramps for seniors who uh, may be struggling uh, with their mobility, mm -hmm. may be in a wheelchair uh, and need that, um, that ramp so that they can safely negotiate and move you know, um, in and out of their home safely. That is so important. And uh, like I say, I, I bet there are people watching who will say, gosh, I've got a friend who could really, or a family member that could really use that. Yeah. And so for that, for example, would they also call 211 or yeah okay. absolutely okay. they can go to our website and uh -huh. and they'll find an application there under weatherization and energy services okay our All website right. is uh, communifysb.org uh -huh. or call that magic number 211 211 <laughs> all right and so tell us what you do for the young children well, for younger children, we start at age zero in utero with our early Head Start program. Oh. So we identify uh, uh, expectant mothers who are interested in uh, receiving uh, parent education and maybe need some additional support services. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to uh, provide them with that parent education so that they're prepared to, to raise a healthy um, a young uh, child. So we connect them with other family uh, resources in the community mm -hmm. uh, so that they can receive um, additional help with, sometimes it's diapers, sometimes they need assistance with um, getting a job, uh, so job training, oh, okay. or getting back into school. We can help to connect them with the right resources in the community so that we're helping them to stabilize at home and prepare for that, that child. But once the child is born at three months, they can enter our early Head Start program. Oh, wow. And, uh, and of course, um, that's uh, available to them at no cost oh. so that they can leave their child in a safe learning environment, very important, not just daycare, a learning environment mm -hmm. where we're challenging them and helping them, their minds to grow. Um, until age three, when they're then eligible to, uh, to enter our Head Start program, that okay. early education uh -huh. program, and prepare them for kindergarten. Oh gosh, man, you just do it all. Well, we do do quite a few things, but I'm very proud of the many partnerships that we have in the, in the community as well. For example, uh, in the last six months, we've been partnering with FSA, okay. Family Services mm -hmm. Agency, uh, with Fighting Back Santa Maria, and oh, okay. with the Santa Maria um, Benita School District on a new uh, program focused on violence prevention. And so the program is called Familia Seguras, Secure Families. It operates in Santa Maria, and we're really focused on uh, that late elementary, early transition to middle school, where so many youth really who are struggling are lost. Yeah. You know, they, uh, they need additional support as they make that transition from elementary to middle school. So we're there to provide intensive case management, 
Uh, FSA is available to provide uh, counseling and support to not only the youth, but to their family as well. And uh, Fighting Back uh, Santa Maria is providing mentoring and parent education. So it's a beautiful partnership with yes. the school system and uh, we've got uh, just under 40 families enrolled in that program now. Wow, that's something to be proud of. 40 families. And so you serve all of Santa Barbara County. Right, that particular program is focused in Santa Maria, uh -huh. however. Uh -huh. Yeah, wow, that is great. I love how it's, it's kind of a wraparound. Okay, so we have this, this program for uh, expectant mothers but, but it also includes the whole family. And yes. then we have this other program and it includes the whole family because you see that it's just, it's a whole family issue and, and you're trying to build healthy, uh, resourceful, resilient families. Absolutely, and you said the, the key word, the whole family. We are taking a whole person, whole family approach mm -hmm. uh, to serving these youth and their families because we know that um, you know the, the family needs support in working with that youth and we want to help that family stabilize and get the resources that they need so that yes, they can support yes. their child and in, uh, in their, uh, in their uh, education in, in middle school. That is so great yeah. that, you, that you take that approach instead of, oh no, here's a little box and you don't fit in that little box, so come see us later. That's right. just so great. Thank you. So um, do you have any other new programs or uh, programs that we haven't touched on yet? One other, have actually 16, have a, you know. <laughs> we have a couple of new programs. We have a new mental wellness component oh. to the Head Start program that was funded by Be Well uh, here for uh, a two-year period. Mm -hmm. And it is a very exciting program because we're training our family advocates who work directly with our Head Start parents mm -hmm. in mental health first aid. So we've trained our staff. We're now beginning to train our Head Start Policy Council, which mm. is made up of Head Start parents. Okay. They're part of our governance in Head Start. And then we're going to take what we learn and, and take that to our Head Start centers, where those parents who have children participating in, uh, in the Head Start program will start to learn about you know, the resources um, the, uh, that are available in, mm -hmm. the, in the community when they see uh, they may be struggling, a, a family member may be struggling, or at some point in the future, their child may struggle. Mm -hmm. And they need to understand how to access all of the services that are available here. So we're really working hard to destigmatize yeah. mental health so that everyone understands that we all struggle at certain times in our lives, uh -huh. and it's okay not to be okay. Reach out, there is help available. That is great, so you're looking at all of the, you're paying attention to all of the issues in our community, and you're responding to that in a sort of a whole person, as you say, approach. Yes, That absolutely. is beautiful. Yes. And so, um, what, is there another program another new program or well we actually have a new component to our adolescent family life program and this program is a very special program it's working in north county and expanding oh. to lompoc now oh. um, the adolescent family life program is serving uh, young teens who are expectant and parenting moms oh gosh and so uh, some of them um, have experienced uh, some very extreme trauma in their lives yeah. And they have um, a, quite a bit emotionally that they're, they're dealing with, in addition to having this new beautiful child. So we're teaching them, of course, parenting skills mm -hmm. and providing them with diapers and formula and cribs and whatever their needs are. Yeah. Um, but in addition to that, for those who might be ex expressing the, um, some anxiety or feeling depressed, mm -hmm. we have a therapist now that's oh, available gosh. to work with them. And That's so, so you know, that therapist is now uh, working with them on a weekly basis. We're getting ready to um, pull together support groups so these mothers, young mothers, can um, you know, really talk with other young girls who are experiencing motherhood at a very young age, but who want to do the best for their child, mm -hmm. who want to stay in school. Many of them have a goal of going to college. Oh. Great. And so they need this added support at yeah. this time so that they can dream and reach for new goals 
and provide that healthy life that they want to provide to their new child. And so, Pat, can and you? I just want to say that yeah. uh, we were only able to do that component uh -huh. with the help and funding from SynCal Health. Oh. SynCal Health, are they just the best? Amazing, they are amazing, amazing. organization. They, yeah, they sure are, gosh. And so um, Communify is a 501c3 nonprofit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a person can make a financial donation, probably by going to your website. Absolutely. And I bet you have a donate button. We do, right <laughs> up in the <laughs> corner, it's red, you can't miss it. Oh good, oh good. <laughs> and so, um, a person can make a financial donation. They can find out about events you may have. Do you have an event? I know you have at least one event every summer time, if I remember. We do. We have our annual Champions Dinner uh -huh. every June. Oh, so okay. they can go to our website and get information about um, that event and those that we're going to be honoring. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you honor certain ones every year. They can find out who you're going to honor. Uh, what the date is mm -hmm. and the time, lo location, mm -hmm. all that. Absolutely. I know it's on my calendar, I can <laughs> tell great. you. Oh, so wonderful. Yeah. yeah, so great. Oh, gosh. Well, we have about a minute or so left. Is there anything else you'd like to tell our audience about Communify? Can I share a quick uh, success story? I would love it. Yes, so I would love it. So we received this beautiful thank you card from Aww. an individual who uh, is 92 years old. 92. And we were able to build a ramp for her. And she is uh, writing to us to let us know how um, thankful that she is that we're here to, to support uh -huh. her and to support other seniors. But what was touching about this thank you card mm -hmm. is that this individual was actually a member of the board of directors on the Santa Barbara Housing Corporation 40 years ago. She's oh, now wow. 92 years old. She worked at the Franklin Senior Center, and oh. we have an opportunity to give back to her. Oh. So this is, uh, this is full circle. Yes. Um, and uh, it, it's just wonderful to be able to support uh, someone who's helped to contribute and build to, the, to this uh, community. That is a sweet, sweet story. Here she gave all her time and energy and caring to the community, and now you're giving back to her. And you know, what we find in working with seniors um, in our various programs is that, uh, that these individuals are those who were out building this community yes. 40 and 50 years ago. Yes. And we are here now to support them at a time when uh, it is so incredibly uh, expensive. Inflation yes. has gone out of control and they need that safety net. So we're here for them. Good, that's, well, like I said, you folks do so many various things and you do every one of them so well and I hope that people tell their friends and family about all your great work and 211 and 211 call 211 if you have any human service needs yeah great well thanks for being with us today and for telling us your very inspiring story thank you so much for having me and thanks for joining us on 805 focus and we'll see you next time <laughs>